and luckily i could fix the sound problem and now i know i am audible so in the last class so we have done some of the explanation of the last lesson till page number 5 so we had done that then with some of the questions like why he was unable to go to school what was the reason behind then uh, what was the news seen at town hall and also that whom did mr am hammer was held responsible for not learning french now let's move forward then from one thing to another am hamel went on to talk of the french language saying that it was the most beautiful language in the world the clearest the most logical that we must guard it among us and never forget it because when a people are slaved and slaved as long as they hold fast to their language it is as if they had the key to their prison then he opened a grammar and read us our lesson i was amazed to see how well i understood it and he said seemed so easy so easy i think too that i had never listened so carefully and that he had never explained everything with so much patience it seemed almost as if the poor man wanted to give all if the all he knew before going away and to put it all into our heads on one stroke so dear children let's come back here and let's start the explanation so after discussing that who is responsible for not learning french he started talking about language french and you will see one line here he says he calls his language to be the most beautiful language in the world dear children i told you about one word which was chauvinism when we were having the learning objectives then i told you about the word chauvinism dear children chauvinism is a word which means superiority complex when you feel that you are superior to everyone else so nothing is difficult uh, the the main problem is the most superlative degree here the statement of m hamel shows his love for the language and also his patriotism his love for his country he was sorry why i am talking about linguistic chauvinism here because german imposed their language the german people they imposed their language on the french because they were having linguistic chauvinism they were having the feeling that their language is the best in the world same for um, hamel too that's the conditions are something different like because they have lost the battle maybe if they have won the battle they would have done the same thing anyways so this most word is dangerous why because the purpose of all the languages is communication whether they are dialects or simple languages spoken in a small area but if they are fulfilling the purpose of communication transferring of ideas from one person to another the work is done anyways so this chapter deals with linguistic chauvinism anyway so he say talks about his language calling it to be very most logical and beautiful and the clearest language in the world it was simply his patriotism it shows he it shows his love for his country what we must guard it among us and never forget it this is very very important he guides he tells all his students to guard 
the language and not to forget it. Why? Very, very important line. He says that when people, when a people means a particular community,